GitHub Copilot has become one of the most popular extensions for VS Code. And that is no surprise because GitHub Copilot allows you to code much faster than you would usually code by giving you AI-based suggestions. In this video, I'm going to cover the most important stuff that most first-time users are not going to be aware of. If you stick around until the end, then you will know that you will be making the most out of this extension. So let's get right in. If you have not yet downloaded the extensions, you simply want to go to the extensions tab, search for GitHub Copilot, and once it appears, simply click on the extension and then on install. To use GitHub Copilot, you need to have your GitHub account linked. If that is not the case, then a small prompt will appear in the bottom right hand corner telling you that you need to sign in to GitHub. So click your way through the sign up process and once you've done that, GitHub Copilot will be ready to use. If you're unsure whether or not GitHub Copilot is configured and working correctly, you can go ahead and simply press on the Copilot icon down here and a pop-up will open from the top telling you the status, and currently you can see that the status is ready, so it's ready to use. Let's start really simple and ask GitHub Copilot a simple question. You can see that in this blank test.json file, there is already a line written by GitHub Copilot. It comes right after you install the extension, and it says press Control i to ask GitHub Copilot to do something. So when I press that on my keyboard, I get this small line that opens up, that allows me to put in a prompt into my editor. So let's go ahead and put in something like make a function that concatenates two strings. And we can simply send that by pressing enter. And you will see that I subsequently get a function written in the editor that takes two strings as parameters and returns the concatenated value. If I like the suggestion that GitHub Copilot has made, I can simply accept it and it will remain in my editor. GitHub Copilot also allows me to make adjustments to the code that is written in the editor. So if I go ahead and highlight the code and right click and then go on Copilot and start inline chat, which I can also open up using Control I as we did earlier, I can now make amendments to the highlighted code by simply writing something into the line again. So let's go ahead and say, add another string input and send that using enter. And you'll see that we have the code changes sort of stacked next to one another. So you can see on the right hand side, we have three string values that are now being concatenated and I do like these changes, but instead of pressing accept straight away, let's go ahead and press on this down arrow icon next to discard. Over here, you can see that I have the options to completely discard the changes, to copy them to a clipboard or to discard them to a new file. So let's go ahead and discard them to the clipboard. And you'll see that if I go ahead and press control V, I can go ahead and paste the changes that were suggested a moment ago. Another really helpful thing is that GitHub Copilot detects what you're writing and automatically makes suggestions for your code. So if I go ahead and make a comment by writing two forward slashes and then writing something along the lines of a function that calculates the days between two dates, and you can see that while typing, the end of the sentence that I'm trying to type is already being suggested to me by GitHub Copilot because it has a slightly different shade of gray. Now I can simply press tab and accept that and it will add the words. Below that, I can start my function definition by simply writing function. And pretty much instantaneously, GitHub Copilot is going to come up with a code suggestion. Now sometimes, GitHub Copilot comes up with multiple suggestions. If you want to see them all, you simply need to hover your mouse over the suggested code and you'll see a small pop-up appear where you can toggle through the individual suggestions. Sometimes you might want to see all the suggestions at once. In that case, you simply need to press Ctrl and Enter and you'll get a new file that compiles all the individual suggestions in one file. Now, another thing that I want to show you is how you can ask questions that don't specifically relate to the code that you wrote. 
For example, let's say that you want to ask how you can call a function in JavaScript. To do that, you can open the chat window by pressing Control, Shift, and I, and then you can proceed to ask your question. So how do I call a function in JavaScript? And you'll see that GitHub Copilot is going to give you an answer to your question. And if you prefer to have the chat window open next to your code, you can either press on this small chat icon, or you can press on the chat icon on the top of the window over here, and this will open the sidebar. The next thing I want to show you is how GitHub Copilot can explain some code for you. So we're going to take one of the suggestions from the right hand side, and we're simply going to paste it into the test.js file. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the code that I just pasted in. I'm going to right click on it, and then in Copilot, I'm going to write, uh, go ahead and click on explain this. And once I do that, you can see the sidebar opens up and it goes ahead and explains the code that I have highlighted, which is super helpful. The last final fun fact that I want to show you is that when you go to the source control and you've made some changes to one of your project, you can simply generate a commit message without having to write one yourself. So right here I have a project that I'm currently working on and you can see that I have a couple of changes. Now over here you can see that the commit message is empty, but when I press on these two star icons, it analyzes the changes that I've made and it writes a commit message for you. So I'm going to leave it here for this video. If it helped you out, then make sure to support me by subscribing and liking this video. See you in the next one.